We got a lot of great feedback from our last video about the traditional Latin Mass in Rome. Today we're going to add two churches to that list and we're going to talk about Easter and the Easter liturgy in the Eternal City. All right, right now we are at the Basilica of Santa Maria Maggiore in the Piazza Santa Maria Maggiore. And we're going to walk to the Via Urbana, which is where our first church is, the Church of Catherine of Siena. Let's go. Our first church is really more of a chapel, La Cappella Santa Caterina di Siena. This chapel is under the care of the Society of St. Pius X, also called the SSPX. This fraternity of priests has the traditional Latin Mass exclusively. Now, the SSPX has had its share of controversy over the years, even encountering murmurs of their excommunication, Leite Sententiae. You can read the story linked to 1 Peter 5 in the video description. But, in 2009, Pope Benedict XVI made it clear that the Society of St. Pius X is not excommunicated. To say they're not in communion with the Catholic Church or to say they are set of Acantus is entirely wrong. The priests of this society pray for Francis at their liturgy, and Pope Francis has explicitly said that Catholics may go to SSPX priests for confession. This little chapel is the only SSPX location within the city of Rome. Located at 85 Via Urbana, it has two masses on Sundays and feast days, one at 9 a.m. and the other at 11 a.m. And they do not have mass here during the week, save for Fridays when there's an evening liturgy at 6.30 p.m. This chapel will not have a triduum liturgy. The SSPX instead will have their triduum in Albano, a small village 25 kilometers outside of Rome where they have a priory. On Easter Sunday, there will be one mass here at 11 a.m. in the chapel of St. Catherine of Siena. We're back at Piazza Santa Maria Maggiore, back at the Basilica. And we're going to walk down the Via Merulana, where we're going to our second additional church with the traditional Latin Mass, the Church of Santa Ana in Laterano. Let's go. We're heading to Santa Ana in Laterano, a 19th century church which belongs to the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Anne, who have their general curia here. There's a 4 p.m. traditional Latin Mass at their church on Sundays, which is under the auspices of the Diocese of Rome, and doesn't have any connection with the sisters who are here. There is no traditional Latin Mass here during the week, and they will not have a traditional liturgy for the Triduum, but they are expected to have a 4 p.m. Latin Mass on Easter Sunday. So today we added two churches to our three previous churches from the previous video of churches in Rome where you can attend the traditional Latin Mass. So that's a grand total of five churches. I'll go down the list. First we had the major basilica, St. Peter's. Then after that, we had Santi Celso Giuliano. Then Trinità dei Pellegrini. Then today we visited Santa Catalina on the Via Urbana in Monti here in Rome. And then also we have Santa Ana in Laterano, which is on the Via Merulana near San Giovanni in Laterano, uh, right here uh, in the Eternal City. So, those are five churches we can think of when we want to attend the traditional Latin Mass in Rome. But, if you want to go to the traditional liturgy for Easter and the Triduum before Easter, there's really only two churches you'll be able to attend. And those churches are Santi Celso Giuliano and Trinità dei Pellegrini. We spoke about those churches again in the previous video. So those are the only two churches you can attend if you want to go to a traditional Triduum and then the Easter liturgy. So, thanks for joining me. I'm Vincenzo Randazzo with Romanitas and 1 Peter 5. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you next time.